in rapid 2024 we have the bending detail for riba so whenever i select uh, riba here you can see the new tool uh, on the contextual tab on the symbol panel the bending detail uh, it's a bit tricky to place uh, the bending detail aligned to the existing rebar so uh, i don't know why but it's easier to do that by selecting the tool from the annotated tab symbol panel and select the rebar so this is the uh, verb noun uh, selection we activate the tool first you can see that uh, now we also have the same options uh, i choose the align to bar and i will activate the uh, tag also so if you want to place a tag for this rebar detail you must do it now uh, but if you try to tag the bending detail after you place it uh, on view uh, it will not work so um, so that's why we uh, supposed to activate this um, when the when we first place uh, the detail okay so, so let's try this one okay and this one and also this one i will try to put this one too okay this one is supposed to be uh, 180 degrees rotation okay we can see that we can also change the tag yeah, i want to show the quantity of this one and we can also move that we uh, we can place the detail outside of the crop region as you can see that here i have the crop region here uh, and i break the view also uh, this uh, bending details is uh, are outside of the uh, view so it doesn't matter uh, in fact if we try to resize this it will also follow so this is a good one and let me just try to hide this and when we uh, place the drawing with the section okay this one is section one okay when we place this you can see also that it ignores the crop region so when you place the bending detail outside of the crop region it will still shows here bending details is also available in uh, rebar schedule when we create a rebar schedule Uh, we let's uh, just place this one and then the type and the bending detail okay let's add some more uh, hook detail at and and at start okay let's just uh, create this one okay uh, let's resize this um, I'm going to resize this one resize the column width and this one is supposed to be oh, maybe 10 it's not uh, a bit wider okay let's place this uh, schedule on the seat mm. okay now we can see that we have uh, all the details and the bending uh, detail so let's make this one is wider so we can see uh, the detail and now we can also uh, resize the row from uh, the properties palette uh, this one is not actually new uh, but uh, 
previously we have that on uh, ribbon contextual tab but now um, they move here and we can resize only the image row and change the height into 30 millimeters okay now we can see uh, the uh, detail shape uh, let's uh, create some formatting let's do some formatting so it can easier uh, to see that's this one this one is supposed to be on center this one's also on the middle and let's uh, format uh, the bending detail uh, we we can see now uh, it shows the dimension directly on the uh, sheet uh, let's change this uh, so we can uh, only see the symbols so it's on the formatting uh, tab bending detail and edit the uh, field properties so let's uh, so let's just show names instead of value and you can see that we can also change uh, the uh, detail if necessary the text size uh, the uh, angles uh, if the band radius everything uh, uh, all the options for bending details are here so just click ok then ok let's see how it looks now on our seats okay so this is actually pretty good you can create the uh, bar bending detail quickly and automatically you don't need to uh, create the shape image manually like we did before okay so uh, this is one of my favorite uh, features in Revit 2024 so what about you do you like these features share your opinions on the comment sections see you on the next video